Yes, guys, this virtual background bundle is selling for $1,386 a month and it's only been listed for one month, guys. Let me show you this very, very quickly, guys. Look, guys, virtual backgrounds are really getting really popular. Um, Zoom backgrounds and other kind of virtual backgrounds that people are always online now. So, you know, people's office home or office spaces at home. So obviously they want a nice background to be able to kind of talk to other people online with. Um, you know, sometimes it's not suitable just having the background that you've got, whether it be the bed, the 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 clutter, whatever it is in the background that might be there. You still want to show it. So virtual backgrounds are becoming popular. Now, this pack sells for, as I've just said, for let me just analyze this very quickly. Uh, 1386. And obviously, there's quite a lot, 104 backgrounds on this. But look, these kind of backgrounds can be created really quickly. Um, very very quickly and I'm going to show you how to do this in this video uh, I'm going to show you exactly how to create a virtual background a realistic virtual background in like a few minutes so guys if you do like videos on digital products and how to make passive income through digital products then please hit the like subscribe smash that notification bell guys and I'll get those videos to you so guys without further ado I'm gonna look at um, a realistic type now this was one version um, which sells virtual um, backgrounds um, but I'm going to show you a different one um, which is uh, another listing now this listing is also making uh, some money let me just have a look at this um, this one is also been up for a month now this one is not making as much as making at the minute three hundred and twenty four dollars per month and don't forget it's only been there for a month so obviously over time this is going to grow hopefully and hopefully it will be ranking up on the page where it can be seen and probably sell more so at the minute it sold 36 it's quite a it's a cheaper version than the other one it's nine dollars and let's just analyze that quickly so nine dollars for 50 virtual backgrounds and these virtual backgrounds look like this they're kind of your kind of modern um, office type virtual backgrounds probably your traditional type and uh, that people would want to buy um, so they're quite nice all right and I want to I'm gonna make something similar to this style okay obviously I can make any style really but just for the sake of the video and show you how quickly it can be done I'm going to show you this kind of officey minimalistic kind of look style okay now remember guys um, I use Everbe to analyze my products and do my product research so if you do want to find out about all the good products that are selling digital products out there and maybe how to help rank yourself better then don't forget check out the links in my softwares in the description below um, and so this is ever be that I use all the time and you can see this is like these are the tags that is kind of ranking for and look what's really nice about this is that there's some really good volume here okay so backgrounds 1200 digital backgrounds 500 and if you add these up it's a good number to have in terms of trying to create and and sell these now I wouldn't say at the moment it's massive in terms of a niche However, it is a growing niche and I think it's really good something to have as a listing in your store, another bit of passive income coming in. Okay, and I think that's very important to build your store so that you have some passive income coming from different types of digital products, if that's what your store is. Um, but if we look at all these different, obviously, um, these, these backgrounds, as I've said, so this is where I've typed in virtual backgrounds, just general virtual back backgrounds now what's nice about this the good thing about this is the results are not massive so at the minute just typing in virtual backgrounds not even virtual backgrounds that are zoom related because obviously there's different types of virtual backgrounds zoom is another popular one there that people would type in but just virtual backgrounds at the minute look 9974 that's a really good number to try and rank and to try and get up the page which is what you want to do so you always want to try and get into a niche that you can actually rank for on Etsy so this one is a good one to rank for and easy to create so I'm going to show you right now how to create it so here we go you can see all these listings of virtual backgrounds different types of backgrounds but you can see look this kind of office style is probably a, a popular type although there are many different styles but I would say this kind of zoom virtual background style backdrop the office space is is kind of the, the the popular one minimalistic style so i'm going to show you exactly how to create this right now on mid journey and guys like you'll see in all my videos i love using mid journey i think it's a fantastic ai tool 
where you can create some amazing designs guys i think it's just fabulous you know you can see from the from the example um designs that that are produced from the community that, that have been uploaded it's just just the quality how amazing the quality is but look i'm going to jump onto the discord which is guys um basically the discord is is my place where i can create my design so um what i do is i obviously write prompts prompts are like just the words that you string together to create your design and then obviously ai will create the design for you once you put this they will put the words together into a design if you like and create it for you it's amazing i don't know how else to describe it it's just <laughs> amazing and how quick they do it it's just ai is the way anyway it's that's that's it's all going ai anyway so check it out guys look I've, these are something i created for my last video so how it works is if you just kind of go you know forward slash and then imagine is is what what, what you have to kind of uh, start with and then the prompts are the words so i've thought of a few words that i want to put together that i believe can work okay for something like this so i've kind of typed it up and now I've just pasted it. So for example, I want to, these are the words that I'm using. I want a picture style. So a real good quality picture style background. I want it to be minimalistic because what I did was I looked at the, the, the examples that are doing kind of quite well, right? And look at these. This is like a, you know, minimalistic office space look. So I'm trying to basically create a background right that will have that kind of feel minimalistic really nice clean um light airy something really nice to look at basically that when you're actually actually doing a virtual zoom call or something like that that you'd actually want to look at the background so these are the words that i'm trying to st string together for it minimalistic clean um office and then i put in a high-rise building because you know them cool offices usually are in high-rise buildings with this mad amazing skyline so these are the words that are strung together and i'm just going to click enter now and just see what it's going to give me so the mid journey ai is working right now thinking about what it's going to produce for me and obviously it produces four versions and then you choose obviously you can actually create another four if you want you know you can create four versions of one that you like or if you like one you can just upscale it but look, look at it. So 31% so far, um, 46%. Oh, wow. These are looking good already. I can, I can tell. They're looking absolutely fantastic. 93%. Oh, my God. These look so good. These look so cool. Look at this, guys. Look at this. Look, I mean, oh my God. Don't you think these look amazing? These are four different styles of backgrounds look office i just typed in office if you want to get specific guys you can say office with the t you know table chair you can actually specify what you want in your office you can specify the type of light you want to come in you can specify what you want to have in the office i've kept it quite minimalistic because i want uh mid journey to surprise me a little bit so they have they've given me four different examples really cool examples by the way i can use any of these um, but let's say I like, I don't know, I like the, so upscaling is you, one, two, three, four. I'm going to upscale, um, I like that third one's really airy. So upscale number three, really nice, very light, minimalist, nice uh, windows, right? And it just looks realistic, guys. So check this out. Let's say I, let's say I like this, just, just for the sake of argument um now look i'm gonna go back very quickly because obviously i just want to check something uh they sell these you know like when you sell these things um when i when they actually sell it you know let me just go to the listing how do they sell it so they sell it as a kind of digital files right you know might be pdfs it could be any kind of thing so what you should do is always check and see what the listings how they're selling it like what kind of file type are they selling it so if it's like a pdf style you know what i like to do is i mean you can you can um actually just use it as it is however this is my suggestion is that what you do is you can save that on your computer and then what i would do just to give it that i mean extra 
really cool crisp resolution although it may, it may not need it with this one in other products that i would produce on digital products i think it probably will need it but this upscaling looks quite clear quite good however let's say you did want to make it a clearer resolution let's say obviously you would download it so you'd say um you could download the image save image as sorry on your computer but let's say i've done that then you need to go to something like um avc labs and avc labs is really it's about um making it really super resolution increasing that image resolution so let's say it's a little bit blurry like you see on my screen and avc labs will just really make it absolutely clear and since really quick quick easy upscaler you load it up onto avc labs and it will give you a very crisp image and i do suggest this with digital downloads so don't forget to check out the link in my description for this as well um, but then what i would probably do is once i got it all nice and crisp is i'll go to something like canva and canva is my go-to software anyway so i would go to somewhere like like canva and then obviously canva will help me produce um, a design that i would like now you know like you can check out the link as well for canva but what i would do is let's say uh, depending on the size you know depending on how you want it to be um what the kind of what the kind of uh, size of your zoom or oh, sorry virtual background is going to be so you know just make sure that you get that obviously um i'm gonna i'm not gonna do the zoom background like that it's probably going to be landscape right so i'm gonna actually just make this a bit more i'm gonna do 297 with let's just say uh sorry uh 297 and 210 yeah, because I want it to be kind of landscape. Uh, let me just see this. Probably needs to be in millimeters, but let's say I want a landscape sort of design. And then what I'll do is um, paste the background. Now this one, obviously, uh, you know, make sure that you've upscaled it and uh, make sure that you got the design, the desired sort of design that you want and this, the size that you want now like i said see when i when i've increased that image it probably needed to have a better resolution so like i said make sure you just put it drag it up to avc labs and then download it where it's got that crisp resolution and then what you'll do is you can put it on something like canva if you want and then canva will li literally put it on a size background that is suitable now like i said look at some good listings and check out the sizes that they use and literally just use the similar sizes and then what you can do is have a look at the format that they use so if it's a pdf format literally all you need to do with uh, with with canva is uh, you'll just go on the suggested one or the one that you need to use like the pdf standard download it once you've got your image crisp image on there and then that's it you've got your pdf file downloaded upload it on etsy create your etsy listing obviously now making sure that your etsy listing um you check out you know like the description how they actually what you, what keywords they're using for example what they're pricing it as and i'll suggest trying to pro, uh, at the beginning a cheaper price you know look at the tags that are used look at these are tags that they're ranking for so try and include these these keywords as well zoom seems to be a popular one because you know a lot of people do do zoom meetings and so on virtually um but there are many other ones that you can use you know microsoft teams is their home office background teams background computer background so all of these are like um volume that people type in and search for this kind of thing so obviously try and make sure that you got these tags in your listing as well and guys then you're ready to go just download the pdf and then upload it on etsy and you're ready to go and that's your virtual backgrounds guys so that is it that is another digital product that you can sell right now on etsy that i've just created in a few minutes guys if you did like the video please hit the like subscribe smash the notification bell write down on the comments if you want a video on something specific also check out the videos that are coming after this and don't forget to check out the all the links in my description guys all the software that i use take care see you in the next one